Hi, I'm Tiffany Young for IDA TV, and I'm here with actress Stephanie Corneliuson. Tell us a little bit about uh, the projects that you're working on currently and um, what you've worked on in the past. Well, right now, uh, the, as you may or may not know, Mr. Robot is going to be starting up again. So, um, back to that. And then the, couple of, the last couple of years, it's been Robot and the Legends of Tomorrow. And then, um, as it happens in this industry, you're bound by rules and regulations and non-disclosures, so you can't really talk too much about it. I'm sure you get this answer all the time. <laughs> Tell us about um, growing up and, and when did you realize that you wanted to be an actress in, in, the, in the industry? I think growing up, I grew up uh, in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I had a very liberal and very artistic upbringing. So I knew I wanted to be an artist and acting came uh, very naturally, I think at the age of 10, 11, 12, um, I realized that I, I wanted to do stage. Um, I had done ballet for numerous years and, and was used to expressing myself on stage and dancing and I, I wanted to take that to the next level. Um, I mean, Do you think that dance like definitely helped you in, in your expression and like that awareness of having the viewers? Absolutely. Absolutely, and also it gives you um, a certain amount of, of body control, which sometimes really helps you. It shines through us, and if you need it for confidence or you need to express yourself as an actor in a scene without necessarily having dialogue, um, having a good sense of your own body helps you perform. Um, <clears throat> so what, are, what would you say is your favorite thing about your job? Hmm. Isn't it just that kind of the, the, the it's kind of such a lame answer, but isn't it kind of to be like doing what you love or what you've hoped and wished yeah. for? You know, yeah. it's it's a lot of it's a lot of fulfillment mm -hmm. coming through. It, it coming true. It's 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 a great thing. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna wrap it up with a fun question. So since we're at WonderCon, what if you could pick any superpower, what would it be and why? Any superpower. Okay, so this this varies for me a lot. I wish that I had a superpower that meant that I could be good at a given thing. It doesn't have to be everything. Yeah. It just has to be. So, for example, I was watching a chess documentary, and I was like, "How? Why not? It's on Netflix. How badass would it be to walk in to a room of chess players, the world's best?" And then just have the superpower to go, right now in this moment, I'm going to be the best at this. And then just sit down and smack them up. Yeah, like grandmaster. <laughs> and you know, just be like grandmaster in a moment. I think that would be my, are the, is that a too big of a superpower to ask for? No, I don't, I think whatever your mind can conceive, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe just speaks to my competitiveness. I just yeah. want to be good. Yeah, sure. <laughs> do you play chess? I do with my dad. Me too. Not good. on a, not on a Magnus Carlsen level, obviously. I think we've come to the point where um, we don't let each other win anymore, so there's a lot of stalemate. <laughs> the same thing with mine, too. He taught me how to play. He did. That's funny. Yeah.